guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I don't know really what I'm doing anymore. Yeah, um, I play with some makeup, so hence why if I look a little crazy, that's why, you know, I'm just, I'm trying to just break out of my comfort zone and just live my life. Also filming on my phone today, so I'm not as high. Wow. That sounded wrong tall as I normally am in frame I'm just gonna get over that because today I am following up with you guys on my no spend in March so hashtag no spend I could still show you guys what I bought in the last month or so I have you guys already know I've already went to the last video so I won't go too much into detail your girl has a shopping problem your girl has an eating problem she's trying to fix it so to eliminate some of the shopping problem and the ultimate goal of hopefully having a baby within the next year or two I need to stop some bad habits so with that being said I ended up getting some things <laughs> Hashtag hypocrite. Oh my gosh, she's such a fucking hypocrite. She's making a video on a haul and she's trying to not shop anymore. What a fucking bitch. Yeah. Also, if my hands, I don't know if my hands look swollen to you guys. I think I'm getting carpal tunnel in my hands because they've really been hurting on and off the last few weeks or so, which sucks because I talk with my hands. I use my hands every day. I have kids at work. I'm a teacher. So, you know, I need to use my hands all the time and it really sucks. So they look swollen. That's why I feel like they are. Okay. Anyways, I did get some new makeup, which I did show you guys in my vanity tour, but I wanted to show you guys again and just like explore a little bit in class night with my mom and my sister because i had to go shopping for an item and that ended up being a situation so um i'll tell you guys about that too so uh this is just kind of like a last hurrah haul before i'm just not i'm on a no spend which really sucks right now can i say because jeffree star announced he's putting out some new accessories like a new makeup bag a new chrome hand mirror which i really want like the hot pink hand mirror but it's been sold out forever and i'm really sad about it and i would love 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 to get that but unfortunately yeah yeah so uh yeah okay i'm just gonna sh shut up now let's just dive right in now most of you guys know i don't go to pink that much anymore unless i have coupons or there's actual things that i really like and i have actually been kind of shopping here and there from pink i've been buying their high-waisted plain black high-waisted plain black leggings which are great they really hold me in and hold in my puff and hold me in and make me feel you know like Hey. and I can wear them to work because they're plain and don't have logos on them along with I've gotten a few like little crop top bralette things that I could just easily throw on and wear like and when it comes spring and summertime I could wear them with high-waisted shorts high-waisted jeans high-waisted leggings I ended up buying a new pair of little black wedge soda sandals that you guys saw last year that I bought them for my honeymoon for when I got married and they ended up breaking because I ended up wearing the crap out of them the rest of the summer and they broke so i bought a new pair i ended up having some coupons i had an angel reward so i ended up going and can i just say <laughs> i'm very excited because i only spent like 37 dollars. this normally would have been like 80. girl is getting better <laughs> First thing in the bag is this camo backpack, which I didn't buy. This was free with a $65 purchase, but somehow I ended up getting it free with my purchase anyway. I don't know if it's because my total was over 65 to begin with, and then they use coupons. I have no idea. But basically, this was free. So uh, it's just really cute little camo backpack that I'm definitely probably going to use when I go to Maine for the weekend with my mom and my sister. Beginning of April, I'm really excited about it. My sister is going to college in Maine. I'm not going to say where. I don't know if she wants that out there unless she's like said on her Instagram you guys follow her there she's planning on going to college in Maine she graduates high school this year like what? my baby sister is growing up and she's 18 and it's weird and I still think of her as my little my little baby and just I can't I, I can't Bad enough I can't fathom the thought that three of my babies went to the toddler room this week and I cried when I came home from work because I'm just like, my babies are gone. But we have new babies, so now it's, it's all over again. All over again. I also ended up getting another panty. Hopefully I don't get demonetized because I'm showing you an underwear product that I haven't even worn yet. Mm. It was free and I just got another boy short one, which I don't know why I keep buying these because like they just don't look like they're not, like I don't wear these under clothes i wear them as like shorts around the house or shorts to sleep in i don't wear them like under clothes because it just gets so uncomfortable and we ain't about that life i ended up grabbing those because i was 
free. And then I ended up actually getting a few shirts because they were completely plain. Like I like that Pink has been doing like plain or like a minimal logo collection because in that way like I can actually buy them and possibly wear them to work and not be like oh my god it says pink 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 all over it. So I grabbed a couple of these ribbed t-shirts. This one's a medium because they didn't have a large so hopefully this fits me like wish me luck. Mm, that's what that looks like and then I ended up getting this one in black but this one was a large thank god. Really really cute and normally I just realized I've been doing a lot of like IGTV hauls too so if you don't follow me on Instagram like and watch some of my IGTV videos like there's some hauls on there that I don't post here so if you want hauls there you go. I'm kind of all over the place I'm sorry. And then the last shirt I got because I saw it online and I just I don't know I kind of like the colors kind of like the message behind it it just says girl power. This is a medium because obviously you guys can see how massive it is so uh, I just grabbed a medium in this and it's really really cute just girl power. Mm -hmm. Girls rule, boys drool. <laughs> Yeah, that's basically all I got and then I got a special item but uh, when I was going and trying on that item I ended up in a dressing room where it wasn't to the floor so like there was like a little opening kind of like a bathroom stall and there was a little boy that was actually creeping underneath there and basically saw me without a shirt on. That made me uncomfortable and I left and that was that so uh anyways let's just dive into some of this makeup that I bought that I'll be showing you guys hopefully in another video. I'm thinking about it. A lot of these are like covered in hairspray so I'm sorry. Some of the new Wet n Wild products I got the loose highlighter and I'm so lit so that's just what that looks like and it looks really pretty inside so I'm excited to try that out. And it's cruelty free which is great. Wet n Wild has really been killing it for me. I think it's probably like my favorite drugstore makeup brand because everything not only is so cheap but it works great so like why not. And then I ended up grabbing the new translucent powder which you guys know like me and Cody like we, we get it done like all the time. I love her like she's killing it. I wanted to try something different and since that pre-mark disaster ooh, I like the inside too it feels feels like really nice too like the packaging just feels like nice and secure so I'm really excited about that but ever since the pre-mark loose powder fiasco mm, 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 that was enough for me so they also put out some of these primer sticks balm sticks these stick situations if you watched my vanity tour you saw that I have the makeup remover stick right here just because I opened it and I need to use it. Works really well. I do like it a lot. I actually got the matte primer stick to keep me matte. I think this is going to be great for the summertime because uh, spring's coming guys. Like finally summer. Yeah. Trips. Vacay. Yay. 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 I need something matte because I get really oily and greasy. It's in my roots. And now that I know that I'm not only Italian, I'm also Portuguese. It kind of explains a lot. No offense. <laughs> You know oily acne combo sensitive skin girl I had to grab a hydrating balm stick because that's not gonna make me oily or anything I'm really excited to try it out though I'm really excited these really intrigued me I really like a lot of the stuff that Wet n Wild's been putting out um, a lot of their new stuff I do want to get some of some more of their new stuff like their lip scrubs and just I don't know some other things like their little spray stuff like body spray stuff I don't know We'll see. We'll see what happens. I also got a primer water. This is the Photo Focus Cucumber 3-in-1 Primer Water. I like the, how it has like a little cucumber on the top of it. So that's going to be fun to try out because I've always loved their setting spray. Like their setting spray is everything, but I don't know why the spray nozzle always gets clogged for me. So that's why I've kind of stopped buying it lately and just been using just all the other ones that I've been using lately. Then we have the Wet n Wild Boost Length I'm just gonna call this a highlighter. Does this look like a fucking highlighter, Samantha? No, this is a fucking mascara. This is the Wet n Wild Boost Length Mascara for longer, longer looking lashes. I want to get all of the new ones, but I figure they'd be a little excessive. So we just got this one. So I'm excited to try it out and see if it does anything for my lashes. As far as powders go, I got the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Powder Foundation, which I didn't know this was a powder foundation. I thought it was just a powder. So I'm kind of excited to see how this is going to do over different foundations considering I did not like the Superstay and I really tried and Jeffrey was like this is a great foundation you're going to love it this is amazing it lasts all day it looks great it doesn't cake blah 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 and I was like oh okay so I can I can easily just go and grab that for like 10 11 bucks and you know have a great time no I just something about it it just it didn't wow me it didn't do much for me so I just ended up not using it and giving it to like my mom and my sister to try out because I absolutely hated it from the same line so I hope I don't have that issue but this is in uh classic ivory I had to read the back of it from here why am I so weird today I don't know I'm just really tired and yeah we're just we're kind of having like a chill haul like this isn't like a da -da 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 haul this is kind of like a hi guys this is what I have <laughs> 
it's been a week <laughs> and then of course i grabbed one of the new maybelline city bronzers this is a bronzer and contour powder which i haven't heard anyone talk about these this one's in shade 200 so uh, we'll see how this goes on my face i really like trying new bronzers especially since i'm trying to use up some of mine and bronzers kind of like if it's not in a contour palette by itself i don't really have a lot of them i don't know why i don't know why that's just me i also grabbed the wet n wild sunset strip tease bronzer which i hope this isn't too orange on me i have a feeling it might be kind of orange oh well, maybe not i don't know we'll see how this plays out but i am excited because uh bronzer like wet n wild hasn't put out like a really nice bronzer in a while like they've done they have blushes and then they did highlighters and now bronzers like you guys remember watching one of my really old videos i think it was like 2012 or 2013 i bought like the giant sunset bronzer and i was like oh my god this is great i love it broke my butt out so mm -mm. really happy they have like new products now basically like oh, wet and wild girl you killing it like i started with you and you've just you've stayed with me this whole time i'm like beside myself like i can't film right now i don't know why so I ended up grabbing the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation, which I do have a couple stick foundations and I really love them a lot. I'm currently using the Bare Minerals one that I was sent from Influencer, if you guys saw my post on Instagram. And I really love that one a lot, along with the Makeup Revolution one. That one is bomb.com. Like if you haven't tried that one yet, what, seven, eight dollars? You need to go try it. Oh, nine dollars actually at Ulta. You need to go get it because it's so, so good. Like I love it. So I'm excited to try this out because I love the regular Photo Focus Foundation. So I'm hoping it's gonna be just as good and I also got it the same color that I have the other one Which is classic ivory then I don't know why I've been sitting on these but wet n wild put out a line of just regular liquid lipsticks that aren't mattifying They don't dry down matte. So I ended up getting the like Li liquid katsu high shine lipstick and ch Chick got real or chic got real. So it just looks like that kind of looks like the scandal liquid lipstick ah! And now it's gone behind the heat, so we'll get that later. I'm very excited to try it out. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know where this video is going. Eh. I also grabbed a couple of the new L'Oreal. I think I opened these already. I got a couple of these lip color rouges. One is in I Roll and the other one is in I Create. So uh, those look really nice. I'm not sure if these dry down matte though, so we will definitely see if I do like a wear test or whatever. So there's that. That is basically everything that I bought. I am really going to not shop and I'm nervous about that. But I know that once I go up to Maine for the weekend, I might end up shopping when I'm up there. Maybe just a little bit. I don't know. My sister has a lot of like college stuff. She's got to go tour the college. She's got to go get like her stuff situated up there. And I'm kind of just going along with them, but I also might hang out with my friend Nate so I'm really excited about that and uh, he might just hang out with us and we'll just all chill which will be great and then I have that uh Monday and Tuesday off from work because I thought I was gonna be up there longer and I'm not so that's gonna be fun I love you guys so much hope you have an awesome day wish me luck on this no spend and I am actually doing well with eating right now kind of I've been doing kind of fasting and was planning on doing more working out this past week and it didn't work out haha <laughs> didn't work out <laughs> so I think I'm gonna do a workout today but uh, I'm just trying to stay positive and just trying to not eat a lot of crap and to just be <laughs> just be or just not eat crap until the weekend because you know that makes sense I love you guys so much hope you have an awesome day subscribe if you would like to see more of me and like this video if you enjoyed. I apologize if I seem a little weird in this video. I don't know where I'm going with it. I just feel like I need to film and it's just not making sense in my head and I'm just like, <laughs> so uh, here we are. But I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Hey, you're talking to me,